Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. Welcome to Paradise. So today we're going to continue on the trilogy video set that I'm putting together on, of course, one of my favorite bands of all time, Green Day. If you haven't seen the first part of this soon-to-be three-part installment, I suggest that you click on the link below so you can actually see my review of the first of these three Green Day albums, which of course is Uno. So today we're going to go over the second one, Dose, just came out last week. Now. One of the things that I had done as far as being up in arms with Uno was how I considered a little bit of false advertisement because of the fact that they had said that it sounded like the old school Green Day going back to their punk roots, blah blah blah, and I still said that that really wasn't what I was feeling. And I unfortunately would have to say the same about Dose. Is it a bad album? Absolutely not. It's actually a great album. It's a Green Day album, so I have nothing against it, but I just don't appreciate that they always say, oh, it's the old school Green Day sound, blah blah blah. I'm sorry, go find 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours all the way through Nimrod, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But one of the things that I can say about Dose, unlike Uno, was that Dose is very innovative, and the sound that seems to resonate from this album is an old garage 60s punk sound, like early kinks, something like that. And if you listen to the song, Wow, That's Loud, you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. But it's got some good songs in it, like See You Tonight, and Wild One, and Stray Heart. Now, as far as the old school Green Day sound, it is there, just a teensy bit in three tracks that actually happen to go one after the other. And they are Ashley, Baby Eyes, and Lady Cobra. You'll definitely hear this brash old Green Day sound that has yet to really come back full force in a Green Day record. And Nightlife? What the hell is up with that? That is one of your worst songs I've ever heard. Billy, please don't try and rap again. It's sad. Not upsetting, not irritating, just sad. I was hoping to get a little bit more of this old-school Green Day sound that apparently everyone says that these two soon-to-be-three albums had in store. So now, apparently, something must have been good in Trey, which is the last album in this trilogy, because instead of coming out in January, I am happy to say that I'll be making a review of it this year and completing this three-part review, because Trey is, in fact, coming out in December. So for now, if you've heard Uno and you like Uno... Dose is definitely a nice little addition. Pick it up, it's really good. So that's it, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. And the question that I want to leave with you today is, what is your favorite Green Day song? My favorite song of theirs of all time is still, to this day, J.A.R., one of the few Green Day songs that didn't end up on one of their actual studio albums. It was featured in a soundtrack to a teen comedy called Angus, and it ended up on their International Super Hits album. I am the Lawn Gnome, and remember that actions speak louder than words.